back everyone to the Defender Diaries, which I think is what I'm going to call this sort of segment of the Motorflix channel, which is basically going to be lesser production quality, just super quick vlogs about the Defender as and when something goes wrong or when it's having something done, and blah blah blah. Anyway, yesterday the old girl had her MOT. That is a massive oh, edge cutter that you couldn't see. Um, yesterday the old girl had her MOT passed with flying colours as you all saw and you know no advisories whatsoever absolutely spot on. Today she's off a beautiful Thursday afternoon we are off to have the underneath sealed for winter so it's gonna be this is a horrible sort of black gunk that you spray on the bottom of the car basically it has to be wire brushed cleans you know, all lets dry, and then they put this, like this horrible black stuff on it, which basically keeps off rust because Land Rover Defenders rust like more than any other car, basically. I would imagine, other than Alfa Romeo's Volt, I would assume. So we're going to see whether that actually works, and I will give you an update, obviously later on, sort of probably six months down the line, whether that has actually worked and it has stopped the rust underneath. Because this is such a good, you know, version, a good example of a Land Rover Defender, I wanted to make sure that I kept it as good as I possibly can. And with these Defenders, you have to not care what it costs to do all these kind of things. If you want to go and buy one of these, you have to just suck it up, get on board with it. It's going to cost you money no matter what you do with it. But at the same time, they're also going up slightly in value or they hold very, very strong. So it's worth looking after them as much as you possibly can. So let's get into Portbury Garage um, and let Nick get underneath it and see what um, see what this is all about. go down there get them to put some shots underneath uh, just to uh, keep it all nice and looked after and all pristine so yeah give them a call book it in they're really really nice lads down there 